the moment you've all been waiting for. So I got a lot more questions than I was expecting. I got over 50. Yo, I was expecting to get probably 10 if I was lucky. So a lot of the questions came from people who asked multiple questions and some of the questions were pretty common. So I'll make sure I get to the common questions. I'll try to make sure I keep the answers as short as possible so I can get to as many of you guys as possible. And I'll only try to answer one to two questions from those of you guys who asked multiple questions. But please guys, next time, please keep it to one question. I want to make sure I get to everybody, okay? Okay, so the first question comes from Ball Until I Fall. Where do you see yourself in 2020, so in five years? Well, I hope I'm alive in 2020. My son should be five years old in 2020. Uh, my YouTube channel should be pretty blown up by then. My YouTube channels, my vlogging, my gaming, my fashion, this channel right here should be blown up. Uh, I will be working at a job that I love, living on my own, and I'll just be having a good freaking time. Hopefully that happens in five years. Compose Win 96 asks, did you ever face any obstacles to your fitness from your family? Uh, no, I have faced no obstacles. One thing for sure though is when I was dropping out of university because I was trying to go for accounting and I was going to switch over to college for fitness, yes, uh, my sister kind of felt off and she kind of got pissed and my mom was kind of like uh, iffy about it but she said do your thing as long as you know what you're doing just make sure you're successful in what you're doing basically and I think I'm on my way to success if you ask me I know I'm struggling right now but hey that's not the point basically I didn't really face any obstacles uh, chasing fitness a minister Sean asked me have I ever felt like giving up or have I ever thought about giving up uh, I'll say this, there was a time when, you guys remember the time when my, when my channel was actually kind of blowing up around the time when I was reaching a thousand subscribers and a lot of people were just hating me, like basically every comment I posted, there was like a hundred hate comments against me. Yeah, around that time, I was taking it. You guys remember when I was like snapping? I was like, in part of the thing, I was getting upset at the haters, like, oh, I hate you guys, you guys are annoying, and blah, 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 I was getting upset. And you guys were like, yo, chill, Simon, chill, just ignore them. Yeah, around that time, I was kind of feeling iffy about it, but then again, my views were skyrocketing rocketing that time I had like what, around a thousand subscribers and I was getting like 2,000 views like per video when I was doing powerlifting and calisthenics which will be coming back one day so around that time I kind of got iffy but then again all the views and all the subscribers that were coming even though my channel was kind of controversial because people hated me in the comment section I was still blowing up and therefore because of that success I wouldn't have left but if everybody hated me and nobody watched my videos I probably would have gave up by then so uh yeah and he also asked me if i uh when did i realize that i was whole ready bro do you not see this freaking five head and this gap team like yo i'm not whole ready man Cha. i still have to gain like 50 more pounds man i weigh like what 150 and you guys know i want to gain like 20 to 15 to 20 more pounds to reach 170 so yeah i ain't whole ready yet bro bro come on terrell chasing goals ask me a ton of freaking questions of course i can't get to all of them man but uh, uh what's the best edible thing in the world women jalubi asked if you could collaborate with any fitness youtuber who would it be and why guys of course i love cow Stank, so some people may think i will say frank madrone because he's one of my biggest cow Stank's inspirations but my biggest inspiration in fitness has to be Elliot Hulse. Like, come on, guys. Man, I'm actually planning, when I'm a little bit older and I got some money, I'm planning to save up so I could travel to Florida so I could go to strength camp and just work with him, collab, whatever. I just want to meet him and train with him for like a weekend or something. That is my dream. Omar Isaf did it. Omar Isaf lives in Toronto for those of you guys who don't know. I'm sure a lot of you guys know. Uh, and he went all the way to Florida and trained with Elliot Hulse. I gotta be the next guy from Toronto to go train with Elliot Hulse in Florida. And of course, if that happens, I'll be vlogging, I'll be recording it, and you guys will come with me on that journey. So yes, uh, someone else asked that question. Oh yeah, Mike, my ninja Mike Diamonds on YouTube. Uh, he asked the same question. Yes, that will be the guy I will collab with. Rip Swolger, this freaking troll. I know he's gonna have a troll question. He asked, if your mom and your girlfriend switched bodies and you had to fuzz one of them to save their lives, 
Which one would you choose? What? What? Well, you know what, bro? I can't ask you a question because I don't actually have a girlfriend. I have a mom, but I don't have a girlfriend. Therefore, my mom can't switch bodies with anybody. Therefore, I can't ask you a question. Sorry, bruh. Hey, my ninja Danny asking me if, are you truly black or are you just putting up a front for the internet? Bias Nexus asked, what inspired you to make your first video on YouTube and where do you see your YouTube taking you in five years? Well, you know what? For the first question, I'm going to make a video, like a separate video explaining how I got into YouTube and lifting and calisthenics and all that stuff. And where do I see my YouTube taking me in five years? Man, it is going to take me to different places around the world, traveling, uh, New York, Florida, California, uh, probably Vancouver, places in Toronto that I've never been with been before training with other people in calisthenics also my fashion gaming and vlogging channel will also bring me opportunities trust me those channels will be coming those will bring me opportunities that i don't even expect i don't know i just know that my life in five years has to be the ish i need to make sure it is the bomb i'm gonna take you guys along with that journey fujiyama mama asked i hope i pronounced that right uh when is your baby's due date uh, the baby's due date is sometime late September. I don't know the exact date, and of course things happen, but uh, the exact due date, I don't know when, but I'll be sure to be vlogging it, and you guys will be watching, and I'll take you guys on that journey also. Man, I'm taking you guys on every single journey. Damn. Every single journey I go on, I'm taking you guys. Getting a job, having a baby, uh, living life, and going on vacation, if I get to do that. I'm taking you guys everywhere, bruh. So, Michael She asked, what sports did you play when you were growing up? Well, I played basketball uh, in elementary. Basically, I made the team. I warmed up the entire bench during the entire season and the match before the championship, I got subbed in at the la in the last quarter at the last 30 seconds. And I basically got subbed out at the last 17 seconds. So my entire basketball career, I got to play for 13 seconds. And also, I played football in grade nine and our team basically got destroyed. We won two games, but man, when we lost, we lost like it was oh my goodness like my friend could my friend could vouch for me on that one and I also did a little bit of track like it wasn't much you know I just I just you know I played a little bit of track got these little these little metal thingies it's nothing really got one gold right here this red but yeah other than that yeah that's all I played when I was growing up freaking Navin did you plan to have a baby or is your pull out game weak? What the hell is pulling out? Amateur Aesthetics asks, funny childhood stories and something you learn from it. Uh, I think those stories could be saved for, you know, separate videos, but I'll say this. My life wasn't that eventful. I probably have to think about some things and think about what I could post on the internet and what I can't post on the internet. So. At the, end, at the end of the day, uh, those are separate videos. I'll be sure to share some stories with you guys though, because I'm sure you guys are wondering how I was back then. Dane Fit asked to get a, a YouTube shout out. Uh, how are how is me and my girl preparing for the baby? And uh, my advice, and he's telling me advice to get diapers now. I may, I am planning on getting some diapers now. I actually see a good sale online. Uh, the reason why I'm not doing shoutouts now is I explained it before. Is that if you give one person a shoutout, everyone else is gonna ask for a shoutout. So for example, you ask him for a shoutout on this Q and A, right? People would say, "Yo, he gave that guy a shoutout. Let me ask for a shoutout on the next Q and A." And basically, the next Q and A is gonna be a list of shoutouts, and I, I don't want to turn to that. So as I said before in a, in a previous video, uh, when I reached 25,000 subscribers, I'm, I'm gonna do like a shoutout like section or session on my on my in my videos, basically to shout out those channels like smaller channels to help boost their channel up and everything so don't worry guys i got you i got you just let me do me first and one time established i'll get to, i'll get to pushing you guys out also and also like what what me and uh, the mother of my child is doing to prepare for the baby that's some personal stuff i know i don't really want to share what we're doing just know that we're preparing for the baby man these are a lot of questions bro uh Eddie 4321 asks, how do you stop food temptations or how do you, you know, fight food temptations? Uh, yo, bro, I eat whatever I want. Like when I'm hungry, I eat. I just eat. So for me, I'm not going to recommend it to you guys because I'm not you and you guys aren't me. But for those of you guys who are trying to lose weight and eat clean, I just say, yo, one to three cheat meals a week. 
but make sure you keep them like reasonable. Don't say, oh, one cheat meal? Well, let me just you know, pack like 2,000 calories into this because he did say one cheat meal. No, not like that. Just just uh, make sure you're able to cook and make sure all the, the meals you're eating normally, right? Your clean meals are actually tasty. And if, you, if they're all tasty, you probably wouldn't even need a cheat meal. But again, if you want to eat something like chips or ice cream, just do it in like, like do it really minimally. Heck, try to go two weeks without it and then like have a cheat meal like every other week. Just be disciplined, guys. Be disciplined. Hey, if you didn't want to go into work, you, you still have to go into work anyway because you skipped that day. Yes, it may be okay, but just know you ain't getting paid. Hey, my ninja SBO underscore CEO asks, how do you build a YouTube channel basically? The best tips for building a YouTube channel. Now, I'm actually gonna make separate videos on that also. I've been saying I was gonna make a YouTube series, a, a series basically explaining how to build a YouTube channel because even though I'm not that big, I feel like I do have some tips that can help some of you guys out. But for right now, I'll say this. The best thing, at least that I like from YouTube channels that I watch is the transparency of the people I watch, like Elliot, Chris Jones, etc. And same for you guys. You guys like watching people who are transparent, who lets you in on their lives, lets you see their girlfriend, their dog, their kids, just just your life. And basically, what I'm trying to say to you is be transparent. You know, probably do some vlogs if you can, and just you know, build a relate, build a relationship with your viewers. That's the best thing. And that's what I do with you guys. I basically treat you guys like friends. I ain't above any of you guys. If anything, most of you guys have more money than me and live better off than me. I just make YouTube videos and you guys watch. So be transparent. <laughs> Shuffle bottom underscore powerlifting. <laughs> Tom Shuffle Bottom Brothers. What's up, guys? Uh, what are your main life goals for the future? I'm only reading like that because they put explanation mark. But basically, my main life goal is for the future just to be successful, be happy, and take care of my son. That is my life goal right now. Really, oh yeah, and have a big YouTube channel, I guess. But yeah, other than that, I don't have, I'm someone who's content with not having so much. I just want to be happy. Kobe Thompson one asked, when you get better equipment, will you start a gaming channel and how old are you? Well, I'm 20 years old. I just turned 20 on May 22nd. And when I get better equipment, I'll start other channels, my fashion channel, my vlogging channel, hopefully. Uh, but my gaming channel, most likely I'm gonna start it when I move out because I'll be able to get my own internet connection. I'll be able to do it wired and I'll just be able to, it'll be better there. It'll be better if I move out. Hair just wouldn't work. My internet sucks and it just, uh, it just sucks right now. I can't do it now. All Around Fitness asks, hey bud, calisthenics, do you plan your workouts or do you go freestyle and just have fun with it? Just wondering how to go about calisthenics. Please answer and explain. Thanks, dude. Keep up the vids. Keep the good vids coming. Thank you for that. Uh, my vids haven't been that good lately, I don't believe. So, I've been doing it way better before, like earlier on my channel. Anyway, that's not the, that's not the question. Basically, do I, do I freestyle it or do I plan my workouts? I do both because there's two ways I train. There's one way I train where I do sets and reps and that is where I follow a push-pull leg routine. And then there's another Another way where I just freestyle, which is when I just do handstands, levers, you know, kind of like in the last video, the previous video I just did before this one, that is my freestyle way of training. I just do whatever I feel like it, no sets, no reps. So basically, I do both. Sometimes I'll do sets and reps like five, five for five, and I'll do like five exercises. And sometimes, just like other days, I just go and train like handstands and stuff for fun. Jack Hoagland asked, have you ever tried tracking your calories and macros? See, that's a good that's a good thing I could add into that video when I explain how I got into this because at first I wanted to do bodybuilding and I did it for like a week or two and I hated it, it's just boring and I switched to calisthenics. And around that time, uh, I was trying to bulk. If you guys go to my first Instagram follow, go to my first Instagram follow and look at my body then. Around that time, I was actually trying to track macros on my fitness pal and it, was, it just got so tedious, I hate it. And I'm just eating whenever I want. Even when I go on my bulk uh, later on, when I get some money to afford the food, I'm not tracking nothing. I'm just gonna eat. Workout. That's it.